Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 15 of my full platinum walkthrough for Dark Souls 3. We're going to Grand Archives, nearly there. Oh god, this farming. <laughs> uh, hopefully the farming has been okay for you, but uh, yeah, it's been pretty. I've been in a trance for two days doing the farming. But it's nearly over, so I'm just going to show you where I'm up to. Uh, I have the 30 proofs, I have the 30 shackles, I have the 10 dregs, we've already dealt with the other two covenants a lot earlier on, and I have 11 sunlight medals. Uh, I'll get the rest uh, eventually in between the next this video and the next one. Uh, quite simple, I'm doing them online to speed the process up. But obviously if you're not online then you will need to do it the other way with the, uh, the Lothric Knight. Uh, I'm just selling all the duplicates I have here, you will have loads as well from farming, just sell... Uh, everything you don't need. Obviously don't sell any rings or any spells or anything like that. We need all of those. Uh, and then we're going to go to Orbeck because he's finally going to come full circle. We're going to kind of finish his storyline off. Um, so buy all of his sorceries at this point. We've given him uh, three... Three... Scrolls? Yeah. Three. And there's four in total. Yes, yeah, so we've given him three. We're going to get his fourth in this video. And once we buy um, all of his spells, he's going to disappear and he's going to be summonable for the boss of this area. Uh, to buy all of his spells in total, it's about 104,000. They're not all here yet because we do need to give him another scroll. But uh, for now, you should have some souls left over from all of your farming and what have you. So buy all of them up, all that you can see that are there. Uh, and then you're going to speak to him. So go to the talk option. Speak to him the first time, uh, he's going to give you the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. Uh, speak to him a second time, you have to go to the talk, talk option for a second time, and he's going to give you the Young Dragon Ring and Silent Ally. Oh no, hang on, it's the Young Dragon Ring the first time, and then it's the Silent Ally Gesture and the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. That's the order. Uh, it, it goes off how many sort of spells you've bought from him, I believe, or certain ones. But because we're buying them all, it just happens at some point. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure which ones it is, but uh, we need them all, so we're going to get everything off him. Uh, and yeah, once he, once we've bought everything from him, that'll be later on, he will become summonable and uh, disappear. Uh, once we've bought everything from him with regards to spells, he, it doesn't matter that he disappears. Um, and he won't disappear until you've bought everything. But we need to do that before we get to the last boss. Uh, well, the boss of this area, otherwise he won't come and help us. So make sure you don't give the eyes in yet. I'm going to speak to her. And what are we going to do? I go all the. I think I managed to get all the way up to 60. To be honest, I do have a lot of souls uh, from uh, all that farming. So right up to 60 on the decks there. And with regards to where I want to be, that's pretty much it. Uh, levels are so expensive now that um, I'm not going to be doing too many of them. So I'm going back to uh, Dragon Slayer armor. This is where I've been farming the uh, the medals, the sunlight medals. I've been helping people with the dragon armor. I will start helping people with uh, Lorien and Lothric. Lothric uh, after this one because I people do struggle with that one as well. So you can sort of switch between them. Uh, and if you're lucky, you'll follow the person and get them twice. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to grab that item. And there's another bonfire right here. Uh, they do this sometimes. It is this bonfire for this area. I know the other one was literally just down the way. Here's uh, Gotthard, or Gothard. Uh, he's been helping us, Blackhand Gotthard. We've summoned him. He's now dead. We're going to get the key for this place here. The Grand Archives. Bit of a maze. Definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, before we run in here, I'm going to just power up a bit. I don't have my... Um, if I'd have put the Wolf Sword on, I probably would have made this. Now, it's not important, don't worry. We're just trying to get as much damage in uh, at the start here. This is one of the Crystal Sages. Just do as much as you can. I think if I'd have had the sword, I might have just made it. It's going to appear. I'm going to show you roughly where it is. It's going to be above us now. Uh, no, I thought I did. <laughs> I guess I didn't. Um, yeah, you can see it's showering things down. It's going to hurt a little bit. It's not too, too bad, so don't worry. But yeah, we're going to kill it. It's going to give us the final scroll. But we need to chase it around. And if you do as, as much damage as you can, you can kill it there, potentially. If not, up on the balcony. And then, if not, up on the bridge. It doesn't disappear after that, so don't worry. Yeah, up there. I thought I did. Up there is where it is. Right, bit of a maze here. So if you stick to the left, either here or from where the sage was. Can't stop doing that. 
up those stairs and then go down here. So this is the path you need to take down here. Uh, we're going to get this one. We're going to have the crystal gem. So we've got this video, the archives video. Uh, then we've got Arch Dragon Peak and then it's going to be the cleanup video. And then it's going to be, if you're following along with this as I'm going, uh, uploading them, there's going to be probably a break, maybe a break in between the, the videos because I'm going to try and do a full playthrough in one video depending on how long it is. If I can get it to about three or four hours, maybe one video. Uh, but in between then, as well, I want to get the list on the website, the checklist, so you can make sure you've got everything be before we move on. Uh, so yeah, there might be a break in the videos. So you got these candle guys. Uh, some of them just kind of poke at you like that, which can be a bit annoying. Uh, the one I went for at the start was a kind of sorcerer, so get rid of him first. Now in this area, there's lots of up and down and jumping on bookcases. If you want to do all of that, that's fine. There are some extra items. There's the Avalyn, which is a crossbow. There's chunks everywhere. There's scales everywhere. I'll get some of them, but I'm not going to go chasing all of them because uh, we're kind of done. We just need the important stuff, which obviously I'm going to get that. Uh, this, speaking of important stuff, what I'm doing here is not. <laughs> it's the crystal chime. We're not going to use it, but if you want it for any reason, it's down here. So you will see that they will start putting crystal on their weapons, and that really does hurt. And um, I'm trying to do this the easy way, which is trying to get behind him and try and get the backstab, but it's just not working. So because at this point, if you're at a similar level to, I, to me as I am, um, you're going to be pretty powerful, and you're just going to be able to break through the, the shield, even when they're holding a shield like this. So if you just L1, this is kind of where I'm backing away. Right, right, this is enough now. We'll heal up, and we'll just go at him with L1. Even if he blocks, after two or three hits, you're just going to be able to push the damage through. Uh, and rather than just getting knocked about the whole time, it's the easier option, to be honest. Yeah, Crystal Chime here. Not anything we'll use. It's for magic. Right, you're going to think this is really odd, but it is something you have to do. We're going to dip our head in the wax here. Uh, and that's for a very good reason. Obviously, fashion, uh, first and foremost. But then secondly, uh, in these areas, well, for the re the remainder of this, these archives, there's going to be these or uh, blue hands that come out from bookcases. You're not going to see one yet. You'll see it in a minute. Uh, there's two crystal lizards. If you get to them both, great. If not, it's okay. To the left, so it's a bit dark in here, I do apologise. There you go, the, these hands. If you didn't have the, the wax on your head, then um, they would start cursing you. You'd, you'd get the curse build up going on. Uh, but because you have it on, you, it doesn't affect you at all. So to the directly to the left of that uh, bookcase, that staircase leading up to the bookcase, uh, there is a switch. Hit the switch, and in here you're going to find which is lock, which is a whip. No need for that and Power Within, which is a Pyromancy. Now, we might actually start using Power Within. It's uh, a give-take kind of Pyromancy. It's a buff. Uh, what it does is it increases your damage output across the board, so um, just the normal one, R1s, will be more damage, L1s. You don't need to be successfully attacking very quickly. Um, but what it does is it drains your life, about 30-40% of your life, slowly, not all at once. But if you're in a boss fight, that's obviously going to be a problem. I've just realized at the top there, you can't even see where my health bar is anymore. Um, it's very long. Uh, yeah, so you, yours will be up there as well. Uh, yeah, so we might start using power within. It's Like I said, it's a give-take. So if you, you want to go into that kind of glass cannon situation where you are really just going in and getting in as much damage as possible, uh, we will experiment with that. It's a bit better than Carthus Speaking because it goes across the board and we don't have to uh, be constantly attacking. It lasts for about 60 seconds. So if you run out of Estus and it's still there, there's no way of stopping it. Uh, so you're going to have to go to a bonfire or die. <laughs> so just knock that ladder down. Get the Crystal Lizard there. There is a switch there. We're going to be hitting that in a moment. I'm just going to finish off the Crystal Sage and get the Crystal Skull. Lots of crystals going on here. Crystal Scroll. Skull. There we go, just one hit in it. That's all it was. 
and you'll automatically get once it's done the dramatic dying there it is the crystal scroll right so i'm kind of above where i was below uh, um, i'm above where i was a moment ago I'm above where i was below kind of makes sense uh, so yeah it's a it's a bit of a maze I'll, I'll go back to where i was so you can kind of figure out where i was in a moment i'm just trying to clear things out a bit so you saw they they did that kind of that you can see it's like a the wax on the floor there uh, if you get hit by that it doesn't do much damage but it, it slows you down which uh, is quite annoying obviously thralls everywhere they just don't seem to be a problem as they were uh, in the cathedral because obviously we can take a lot more damage now so yeah there's lots of dropping on bookcases from high up uh, like I think the Avalon is directly below now uh, so you'd need something like the cat ring to make the fall anyway, and we don't get that until the next playthrough. Yeah, I've run out of wax, so I'm going to have to go back and get the wax. So I think it's up here. The wax is actually to the left of where I was there. Uh, even I get turned around in here still. It's directly below here, which I've just realised as I'm doing this, but I thought I might just get rid of this guy. Yeah, the, did you see that? The... You're going to see it in a moment. As I dropped, as I did that, that fall damage, you might want to just rewind the video a little bit to see it. As I did that, that slam attack, you're going to see one in the floor in a minute. I woke, I either woke him up or killed him, because there was definitely two health bars. I think I killed him. There, he's on the floor there. <laughs> I've not been up here yet. Uh, yeah, so as I did that drop attack, I, I managed to kill through. I didn't realise that's how it works. It's an AoE. Uh, anyway more wax on the head. So this is where I was supposed I was looking for this so I can get to the switch. So yeah, titanite chunks, there's plenty of those lying around. Crystal gems, again they will be on that list I'm going to do for the cleanup as well, all the gem locations to make sure you've got them. We've been picking them up and not using them so we should have more than enough. Uh, a one each is all we need. Uh, we've definitely got those. Yeah, so hit that switch and then go down this ladder and it's, it's basically dropped so yeah there's lots of crystal lizards and all sorts on top of these bookcases. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother. It's just mostly just chunks and scales and things like that. But a slab is kind of not important. We've already used one. We've got our weapon fully upgraded. But if you want to fully upgrade, say, the bow or anything like that, uh, you'll need another slab. So this bookcase has now dropped down. That's what that switch did. And there's a slab in here. This is actually one of three slabs we're going to get in this video. So you can fully upgrade four weapons if you like. So now we have to go back in the dark room and back round to where we were. Lots of running back and forth in this area. I'm just going to top up the uh, the wax head. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Who thought of this? And then uh, and then we'll continue on. item on the roof there. I'll kind of tell you where that is. It's just more materials that we don't need really. So all the way up. This is where the crystal sage was just for reference and then we're going to carry on. This is where I did that drop and kill that guy. There's one hiding. More titanite scales. Now there's going to be a secret room here. Uh, I mean, it's really obvious that, isn't it? <laughs> it's obviously a... Uh, yeah, don't go running in there. It's obviously an illusionary wall. Uh, yeah, Outrider Knight. The last one we have to fight. We fought them before. One we cheesed, one we took on. Well, you might have skipped, because I told you to. But this time you definitely have to fight it. Or Well, I suppose you could run past, but it'd be a suicide run. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of show you a shortcut... I, w I was going to do the shortcut, sorry. No, that's right. I was going to run and show you the shortcut. But we'll do. I was good, I'd just do a backup save instead. So this is a, a shortcut as well to that, that wax vat uh, and the scholar ring there. Scholar ring adds five intelligence instantly. So if you need, if there's anything you need to uh, have the extra intelligence, you can just put the ring on and it will instantly give you five extra. So I was going to do the shortcut there, but I'm actually just going to go up do a backup save, uh, take the Outrider Knight on. But the shortcut's just uh, across the bridge and to the right there's a lift. 
it takes you back down to the bottom but instead I'm just going to do the back up because things go very wrong with the Outrider Knights quite quickly well luckily I did manage to do it first time yeah I'm not taking any chances I should have healed as well even right top everything up It's actually very similar style of fighting to the boss of this place as well. So I kind of suppose it's kind of good uh, practice. So you get his full armor set there, but most importantly, soul stream. So this is what I was saying. It would be a suicide run, but you could do it if you want to. Just run for the uh, sorcery. Speaking of which, you can see in the top there, purchase all of Orbeck's sorceries again. That's what we're doing because we're going to give him the final scroll. So this is where the sage will be. If you didn't kill it at the second point, it'll be on that bridge there. And it'll stay there until you do kill it. Another knight. I'm just try and brute force it. Didn't go as well this time. Because I don't want to get hit with that sword. <laughs> like that. But yeah, I think brute forcing is just kind of the way. With these uh, knights. So we'll be back around here, just kind of take note of where we are here. We'll be dropping down from up there. Now we'll go and do the shortcut. This is one of those areas, again, that's very quick. So you can see there's the, the avalanche. You can kind of drop down. It's a, a difficult drop. You will take a lot of damage and potentially fall at uh, fault die. There is a ring that we haven't got. It was from uh, Cirrus's side quest. Uh, the cat ring, which does reduce, if not... I think it completely negates all fall damage to a certain degree. Obviously, you can still die if you fall too far. And we're back at the beginning. So that's where the sage was to the right. Uh, th yeah, <laughs> this guy. This guy, Hugs, what is he called? Um, come for Hugs. Yeah, so obviously he's. I could have summoned him, uh, used him for the boss. I don't know why he's got a summon sound down here. The boss is all the way up at the top, unless he just wants to help th with the whole area. Yeah, but we'll be seeing him again. He changes to uh, Antagonist. Back again, I so I'm going to speak, I'm going to give him the scroll, the crystal scroll. Go all through all that. Just a moment. And then we're going to learn the remainder. So all the crystal sorceries. Expensive. But you should have enough from what we've just done in that area. And that's it. That's all of his sorceries. That's everything. So he doesn't sell anything else. That's all he has. Sorceries. So once you've got all of them, talk to him and you will kind of get a, a long extended thing. He will talk about how he's finished, how he's going to move on, etc. Completely exhaust his dialogue and he will disappear, which is fine. We don't need him anymore. Uh, he will become summerable. Uh, we've got everything. He won't leave until you have everything. So don't worry, he's not going to disappear on you or anything. And back to the Grand Archives to continue. The reason we've done that now is he won't be summonable if you don't get him to disappear now. If you move on to the boss, he won't be there. So we're going back up to where we left off. Uh, I'm gonna. You need to dip your head back in the wax again. You will need to do that. Uh, I do forget, but we'll go back and get it in a moment. There's going to be a bunch of those guys up here. So this is going to be a shortcut ladder as, uh, here as well. So directly above this one here, there's going to be a ladder that we drop down later. So if you need to just take reference of where we are. Um, also, this is where Orbeck, Orbeck, whatever the hell his name is, uh, that's where he will go. After the boss fight and everything, his body will be around here. Uh, and you can get his ashes. We don't need to. I, I don't actually do it in the video. But that's where kind of where he ends up. We're done with him as far as we're concerned. So I'm just running down. Yeah, so lots of drop down. You can drop down there. Uh, there's, that's where the crystal lizard was. 
that we saw earlier you can drop down as a, an item down there as well yeah so that's the one I managed to kill the drop on yeah that one there yeah nasty with the firebombs these things so yeah this is all I'm here for is to put my head in here <laughs> It's not worth trying to run through, the, through those arm things. The amount of curse build up they do. Miss me. Take a long way around apparently. And then we're going to go back on. Uh, we're going to go outside, not back onto. We haven't been there yet. Uh, outside onto the rooftops, and that is where we're going to meet. Come for hugs or whatever the hell he was called uh, again, and he's going to come running after me, which is just annoying. <laughs> but the main reason there was that item that's not the reason we got the wax on the head, the wax on the head is for up here. Crystal lizards, so we definitely have a refined gem uh, for this over here. There's plenty of arms around here, flesh bite ring. We'll head out. So that item will go. This is kind of we're going to go in a, a sort of loop here. Uh, we'll take note of where that item was. We're going to be seeing that in a moment. Well, a bit later. But up here there are gargoyles, two different types. We've got the ones with the fire, who are a bit slower and easier. Had you actually bothered dodging, unlike me. Uh, yeah, you'll see. You'll notice my style of fighting is less guarded more aggressive at this point it's because I've got so much life and I do the damage I just try and push it through at this point you probably start doing that yourself as you kind of get used to it as well guarding less so drop down to this point here and turn around for a hollow gem if you continue on there's going to be a bunch of the uh, I'm not actually sure what the enemies you know the group of enemies whether they have the screaming one in the middle and they all transform those and they hurt a lot to be honest so it's just best to ignore them get the hollow gem I did use a hollow gem off uh, I did mention when I did use it I did use it off uh, recording for a shield to increase item discovery slightly not by much but it was better than nothing so we definitely have another hollow gem now for when we do all of the swords so I've come full circle And back out onto the rooftops and this is where I get invaded and yeah he's got an interesting style I haven't seen anybody use this sort of style before it hurts I was not expecting it and uh, I didn't really want to fight him I just wanted to move on I wanted to get the recording done where is he here he comes come for hugs I said, oh no there they are <laughs> I was trying to show you there so if you drop from down here uh, they will take make short work of you. All you need is the hollow gem from down there. I thought I heard him teleport in behind me somewhere. So I'm just having a quick look. But uh, I can't see him. We'll see him afterwards. Yeah, it's just better to not be embered while doing the areas if you don't want to get invaded. And then just become embered at the end. So there's going to be more gargoyles. That was a terrible dodge again. I'm still looking for that guy at this point. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is the second type. We've dealt with this type before, with the uh, kind of javelin? Joust? What is that that they're using? I mean, why is he not dropping? He does. The weird thing is, if those guys drop onto a lower level, they don't come back up. It's weird. Uh, obviously they fly above you, but it's they're kind of still on your level. So if they drop below you, they're not on your level anymore, so they can't get you. It's it's very strange. Uh, yeah, I'm locked onto him. I did not want to be locked onto him. I wanted to be locked onto this guy here. So we'll see that crystal lizard again, actually. Don't worry if you don't get them. It's, there's nothing of vast importance there. Again here, you can see he's on the lower level now. So instead of flying up to me, which is what you would expect him to do, he actually can't. Which means you can uh, just get the drop on them.
Yeah, I'm still looking out for that invader. Don't forget, I'm, I'm invaded at this point still. Or being invaded. Now we're trying to run around to get the shortcut ladder at this point. The, to the right hand side there is another jump you can make uh, for another item and another way round. But it's uh, easier to come this way. Or usually I'm just going to suicide and run it afterwards. I do die. It is a bit annoying. So there's two gargoyles here. One of each. I was trying to separate. I didn't want to go too far forward. But the other one is alerted. You can see him right there. I'm going to make the executive decision of getting the hell out of here. Right, jumping down here, trying to separate them. Come on. There we go. I think this is where he appears now as well. No, yes? No, it's after the crystal, is it? That's right. So I'm right back at the start now. As we came, this is where we came outside. So I'm running back round again. Annoying, sorry. Yes, I know. <laughs> but you'll you'll probably have to deal with a similar situation. Situation. Yeah, there's that crystal lizard. I've never seen a crystal lizard do that before. I don't know whether he's stuck, but he's supposed to despawn. There he is. Yeah, he just. I didn't want to. Just leave me alone. But this this in combo he does here, I have no idea. Must be the life, life hunt scythe. I think that is. I haven't used it before, but I was not expecting that. I was just thinking at this point. I don't want to. I just want to run past. I'm not bothered. <laughs> I'll try and get to the uh, the shortcut, which is what I'm doing now. So running back, this is where the two gargoyles were. Ah, there's still one here. I didn't think he'd have followed me. The the invader that is. But he's right there. And I mean look at this. How? How is he not dead? Come on. And then uh, right, I've had enough. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm not I'm not giving you the satisfaction. And then he jumps off and kills himself anyway. Right, so I just got rid of him. Just, I can't be bothered. I should have just ran for it, but uh, yeah, he would have just followed me. So the quicker option is just to get rid of him. Uh, I was going to skip the run back, but because this place is so complex, I've left it in, so you can definitely, uh, you know where I am. In case anything similar happens to you. But usually I do cut these bits out. I mean, as much as a maze as this place is, it looks unbelievable. <laughs> the detail, the, amount, the level of detail. Right, back outside now. Skip all the gargoyles. Not bothered, just want to get out of here now. Yeah, so there's an item if you drop down and uh, jump across off the roof, and there's also a shortcut across the roof to where I am to the right. It brings you out to the same room. Uh, so if you yeah, if you go to the right hand side of that gargoyle and drop down onto the balcony there, I'll show you where that brings you out in a moment. But there is going to be another knight there. I mean, it's getting close again at this point. <laughs> Souls. Quickly get over the top of this roof. Put a heal in quickly. No, that was close. Right, just get down here. Get through this window. And we are safe. Yeah, there he is. I know there's a guy waiting. Here he is. They can still hit you through the wall, so watch out if that's ever a thing. Enemies there. You can see he's right there. Ember, and then most importantly, Undead Bone Shard. That is the final one in the game. And this is the shortcut I was trying to get to. So, kick that ladder down, and you can now get to that area with the um, 
kind of casters. Uh, if you go down the other side, that's where you, you come in through the window, the balcony over there. There is a, I believe, Titanite chunks over there. There's a Lothric Knight as well and some uh, thralls, but I just don't want to bother with them at this point. Right, three NPCs together. No joke at all. Do not bother with them. Run straight past, run for this lift, and uh, just activate it. You just need to activate the lift. We will be fighting them, but not right now. So you can see where we are. We're right back at the start, not even inside of the Grand Archives at this point. So I'm just going to rest a moment, get the Estus back, and then we're going to go and take them on. We will go and do the unbed, Undead Bone Shard in a moment, but um, I'm going to get the last Estus Shard as well. So I'm switching to Alluring Skulls. We've not used these before. It distracts some NPCs, usually dogs, and some NPCs. Uh, yeah, the, the caster... We've, the, this is the, what, the, she's the woman that we fought in Untended Grave. Remember, she is, was an invader, a phantom. Um... It's that one, the one that's extremely good at parrying. So you don't want to fight her and the two others as well. There's a guy with Faram armor on. And then there's Captain Fancy Pants who has similar to us. <laughs> like Those moves he does are pretty cool to be honest. Um, yeah, the Faram armor is going to be the one that comes after you. So I've thrown an alluring skull. So you just use it like a normal item. And they'll concentrate on that. But unfortunately I was nowhere near him at the time. Managed to get him down. So getting one down is good. These are NPCs, so they will not come back. And then we've just got him with his Farum far um, armor from uh, Dark Souls 2. He will go with the Alluring Skull. You, the, the, the Sorcerer doesn't usually come out, so this doesn't usually happen. Uh, yeah, he'll go after the Skull, but she will not. It does not work on her at all. These three are a nightmare together. I'm just brute forcing it to try and get him down. And then you're going to see that she is extremely good at parrying. One. Two. And I'm doing running attacks here as well. Three. <laughs> she's not got her, her normal weapon in that four <laughs> in her hand, so she's not retaliating. She's trying to do the sorcery. There we go. As she was charging, that was the opening we needed. Yeah, so she's definitely best. Usually you go for the, the one with the distance first, like crossbow guys or whoever. But her, because she parries so much, you have to wait until the others are dead. Oh, what a nightmare. Yeah, alluring skulls are the key with those three. Now we're going to go up onto the roof and meet the proper winged knights. The ones who haven't had the, the fully grown winged knights. Around here. Another so Like you need more souls at this point, to be honest. <laughs> we're done with souls. So there's going to be three of these winged knights up here. Um, do not go running into the middle because they'll all come after you. And three of them, one of them is bad enough. Three of them, uh, yeah, you don't want that. So just get them. You can see them up on the roof there. Just get them to drop down. And you should have the one with the axes who should be kind of alerted to you. He's not looking. He is kind of aware. He doesn't know where I am, I think. There we go. So if you're lucky, you can kind of get them stuck on the stairs. So if you run back down the stairs, you can kind of get them stuck and hit them through the wall. It takes a while to kill them, obviously, but it's safer but sometimes they don't stick to the stairs. Uh, and only, sometimes it's only for a limited time they'll come after you. I don't know why they suddenly come after you after being stuck. Nope, that was the wrong time. I think it was coming round to finish me, that's what it was. Yeah, you can backstab them as well, like the uh, normal ones. So, it, they're just... Uh, I suppose they're exactly the same, to be honest. You've got the ones with the big halberd, ones with the axes, he's kind of stuck there. I mean, that the size of that halberd. <laughs> uh, the pill, yeah, I suppose this is the only difference, this that they do. 
Uh, it's a miracle. We will actually be getting it shortly. The Pillars of Light or something it's called. Um, that's actually the best time to get behind them and try and get a backstab in. What do we drop? Large Titanite. And then the third one will always drop a Titanite slab. The the first time you kill him, not every time. It's, you can't farm Titanite slabs. I don't know why I didn't go for a backstab. I definitely should have done then. Finally. Titanite slab. You may wonder, as I sometimes I do the attacks early when uh, an enemy's getting up, I do know that I can't damage them. It's because I want the second and third attack of the combo because they do the most damage. That's why I start early on the combo. It might just look like I'm waving my swords around, but there is a reason for it. Esther Shard. That's the final one of the game. And then the Hunter's Ring, which is up here. Now, this is our Dex Ring. Gives you instant five levels of Dex. Uh, it is good. It's very good, uh, because we are pretty much just Dex, if you are following the same as me. Now, I'm quite attached to the ring that I already have on. It's good, honestly. If you, you want the more Dex, put it on. But I really like the uh, the invisible roll, the obscured roll from the Carthus Milk Ring. And it does boost your decks as well. So I think it's either two levels or three levels that one does. So I'd be gaming, gaining two or three levels of decks by putting the other ring on. But I actually really like the roll. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to leave it. I might put it on if I need to for fights or what have you. Uh, I'm just going to drop down here. I thought there was an item on this roof, but there isn't. I just had a weird feeling there was, but there isn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do actually, where I just was for um, with those wing knights, there is another way we need to go in the middle of that building and drop down all the way back down to the bottom, basically, is where we will be going. But I'm just going to open up the shortcut to the boss fight first, and then we'll go back and get the uh, the miracle after that. So this is a long old walk. That is the final, that's the boss directly ahead of us there. Like the castle, king of the castle, or prince of the castle. Um, you don't have to fight these. There's no reason to fight your way across this bridge. You can run, just completely just run for it if you want. Uh, and it's, once you get to the top, look to the right, and there's going to be another lift. Get in that lift and go down it. But if you do want to fight, then uh, this is what to expect. I mean, that's why you're playing this game, right? You want to kill things. So that's the best bit. Crossbow guys always have to go down first if you can get to them. That was bad. So yeah, I'm getting rid of these quickly. There is going to be a knight. You can see there's a Lothric knight coming down behind the other shield guys. Uh, we're just going to brute force him again. I think this is the one we're actually... Yeah, one, two, three, four, and then we get through. You see it completely staggered him. He ran out of uh, stamina, basically. So you you can just eventually just push through. Um, it doesn't work if you try and do it with three of them, though. Yeah, they might be the worst when there's a, there's a group of the ones with the spear. How is that not a backstab? Knock on the shield, gets them to attack, and then uh, get around the back. That all round. Don't worry, I'm not going to give up my day job for it. <laughs> uh, right, there's going to be three more up here, three more Lothric Knights. So, yeah, they two of them are the Great Shield, so two of the really annoying ones, and one of the, the regular ones. So try and brute force one, at least one out of the way. No, oh, no, they're together now. So if they are together, try and take the one without the shield. You'll be able to do more damage to him easier. No, he's got nothing left. 
Come on, let me through. There we go. Okay, right, so you didn't have to do all that. You could have run all the way up here and gone down the lift. Much simpler, right? <laughs> Now this is a long lift, this takes you all the way back to before the area, so not even in the same area anymore. We're back in Lothric Castle. So you may remember the room where we are. Uh, I will show you the, the full run back on the way. We're just kind of unlocking this lift at this point. So I will show you afterwards, but what we want to do is send the lift back up, and at the bottom there is a Titanite slab. We have more than enough at this point, but if you want another, there is another one down here. Um, yeah, so this is the room that was to the right-hand side of the Dragon Slayer armor boss arena place. That's where we are now. Down here. There we go. Titanite. So that's all that's down here. And then you'll need to go back up and then send the lift back down to go back up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll, then we're going to run all the way back to that big dome area where the winged knights were, were and uh, drop down and then we can use this shortcut to get back up again nope nope yep <laughs> and uh, yeah that's it pretty much we just got this uh, that um, miracle to get and then we're going to do the boss The boss, this boss fight that's coming up the twin princes Lothric is my favourite by quite a way to be honest the kind of story the emotion behind it the actual fight itself is really good yeah definitely the best fight it's also one of the best ones to sit outside of uh, camp with your uh, your sign down to uh, get sunlight medals as well so not only is it the best it's the best to do that with so I'll be doing that in between this video and the next one I will have all 30 for the next video but I'm not going to turn the, all the items in until the final one uh, so you definitely got them all by then because you have to <laughs> we'll be moving on so you want all of them by then so we don't have to worry about anything like that in New Game Plus and we can just run straight through grab a few rings along the way and uh, get to the end of the game that's all we're doing in New Game Plus so it's going to be a lot quicker I'm not going to be putting all the items up in the top because I won't be picking most of them up myself I'll just be getting through as quickly as possible so if we drop down here you're going to drop onto the plank the uh, the roof beam I've completely forgotten what they're called uh, there, the divine pillars of light that's what they were using there is a blessed gem over here uh, we do need to come back here, there is going to be a ring here it's in one of them, new game plus or plus plus it's on my recording it does sound like I don't know what I'm doing but I have recorded it also, I don't need to remember I'll uh, watch it before doing the run through yeah he's quite annoying sitting there throwing the miracles at you So we're going all the way back down here. Divine Blessing. And then we've got Twinkling Tide tonight times three. I'm sure you've got more than enough Twinkling Tide tonight by now. And then we're back here. So I'm just going to run all the way back to the beginning. And we're going to go back to Fire Link, prepare for the fight, and then go and do the fight. So this is kind of your last chance to do Orbrek. He should be gone by now. He is for me. I mean for you with regards to buying everything. You need him gone. So this is pretty much what New Game Plus will be like. Just kind of running past things. There's only certain things we need to kill. So we go back to Firelink, and then we're going to go and speak to our friend, the Smith Man. I've forgotten his name, even though I've just said he's our friend. Andre. Got it. <laughs> just before. There we go. Uh, yeah, Blacksmith Andre. And then Reinforce Estus. We have that final one, so you will get the trophy Ultimate Estus. 
There he is, he's definitely, well there he's not, he's definitely gone now, which is good. And then when you want to uh, do a bit of leveling if you need to. Now the reason to get the ashes from um, Orbrek, or Beck, whatever his name is, um, is to give them to Yoria. Do you, if because you, you may remember right at the start, she said that she did want him killed. Uh, but it's kind of just a side quest. It's nothing we need to do. But if you want to follow it along, uh, and then get ultimate bonfire for doing the last undead bone shard, or should it be ultimate bone fire? <laughs> oh, that was bad. Um, yeah, so that's it. We're fully the Estus is fully upgraded. We've got 15 uses, and it's plus 10 now. So that's those two out of the way. And then straight to the boss fight. So I warped to the Dragon Slayer bonfire this time. And we'll go and use that new shortcut that we just opened up. Now if you feel like you're up to the task, try soloing this uh, boss fight. It's really good. <laughs> uh, obviously you don't have to. I'm going to show you. Or Beck is going to be there. Or Breck. Or uh, his name. He's going to be there. No, I don't want that. I don't know why I switched to that. Uh, old, wo old Wolf Curve Sword. The usual boss setup. Get rid of those. We don't need those anymore. So could have tried Power Within at this point. But um, I think we may try it for uh, Nameless King. Yes. Nameless King is the next video. Arguably the hardest boss in the main game. For me, though, it was always the Dance of Boreal Valley. I don't know why. So, here he is. Orbeck. We'll be waiting. I do summon him in. It's just, uh, it does help if you want to, but I, it's a really good fight on your own. I do I usually do it on my own. But I will be farming this quite a lot, so let's just get it done. I'll be doing this one another 19 times or however many Sunlight Medals I need. Again, if there is a summon of a player who has the Sunlight Medal thing going on, then uh, bring them in. And away we go. So you're going to get a cutscene. So it's, it's well worth watching all the cutscenes in this bit. There's one in the middle as well. And then you're going to jump straight into the fight with Lorian, who is the elder, the older brother. So he teleports a lot, so be ready to dodge. Uh, using a shield is not the best against him, because he will kind of cut through your stamina, and you need your stamina. When he teleports to do this, just roll, time the roll as he sort of slams down, t roll either left or right to avoid it. And then you just want to get behind behind him, my voice went then, <laughs> behind him. Uh, well, Orbeck's got his um, his attention, and if you're fighting him one on one, dodge under yeah dodge would have been good there. He does teleport a lot, so staying close to him, he doesn't teleport as much obviously. Um, but he will, if you're away from him, stay away from him. He will teleport right after you. Uh, yeah, and just if you're alone with him, just dodge underneath two or three hits. Dodge. You get the timing. It's got really good timing. I think that's what it is. It's the the timing is really nice on this one. Uh, and after the, the second phase here, his brother will come down to revive him, and he'll be on his back. Now it's just his brother, Lothric, you need to kill here. So if you can, you get to the back of him, and you'll do damage to both of them at the same time. It's pretty much the same fight. At this point, you will just get extra miracles thrown at your way. And then once he's down again, you're going to want to do as much damage to Lothric as you can, and get out of the way before he does the blast. And don't go back in before he's finished the blast and then lock on to Lothric on the back if you can and then just keep um, hitting the back of them where are they? there they are <laughs> yeah he's got his attention now so I can bring them back down lock back onto Lothric so move the lock using the left stick and then finish them off and yeah quite sad really dies on top of him there's quite a few death animations for him as well, it, ch it seems to change. But yeah, it's a really, really good fight. And there we go. That's the final Lord of Cinder down. That's all four. 
So that's all we're doing for this video. So at this point what we could do is move to the end of the game, but we do have one side area left that we're going to do, uh, which is obviously Arch Dragon Peak. So what you would do is you would go to all of the thrones and put all of the Lord of Cinders back in their place, uh, and that, that would move you towards the end of the game. The whole sort of game will shift. But we're going to go and speak to uh, to this guy up here, uh, Ludloth. And we'll do some transposition. We've not done this for a while, so there'll be a few spells here for you to grab. So grab the White Dragon Breath, uh, Soothing Sunlight, and Life Hunt Scythe. And then the Prisoner's Chain, which is a ring. We've already got that one. I don't know why I'm sat on it. So Soul of the Dancer for this one. And this one's Aldrich's. And then right down at the bottom, you've got Champion Gundir's, which is the ring. Increases Vigor... Endurance, intelligence, at a cost. So probably not. And uh, that's it for this one. So I'm just going to do the usual. I'm just going to do a bit of leveling here. Uh, like one with 128,000. Imagine if you had 128,000 souls at the beginning of the game. You'd be over the moon. And now it's one level, if that. Only just. And one point into decks. And that's kind of all I'm going to be putting it into at this point. I don't really need to put it into anything else. But of course put it into whatever you want. And then I'm just going to organise weapons and armour and uh, call it a day at that. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.